If something appears too good to be true, you can bet it'll end up getting banned sooner or later. Recently, Italy pulled DeepSeek from its app stores, and government agencies in the United States, Australia, and Taiwan quickly followed suit. To crank up the drama, a U.S. senator is now pushing for a law to ban all Chinese AI, with penalties so harsh they make your worst high school detention look like a spa day. Meanwhile, OpenAI is scrambling to mimic the latest moves from its rivals, kind of like that one friend who copies your homework, in a desperate bid to stay at the cutting edge of the AI revolution. They've just rolled out their new O3 Mini model and an upgraded version loaded with extra features. And speaking of features, they unveiled a bonus called Deep Research for their $200 Pro users. The irony isn't lost on anyone when you consider that Google Gemini had already launched an almost identical feature months ago. It's like showing up at a costume party with the same outfit as everyone else. In the midst of all this, the open source community is having a field day. Developers managed to speed run an open source version of OpenAI's deep research in just 12 hours, proving once again that sometimes the scrappy underdogs can steal the spotlight. It's February 2025, and you're watching Infinite Loops. In a recent Reddit AMA, Sam Altman admitted that they've been on the wrong side of history and need to rethink their open source strategy. He even joked about starting a company called Closed AI, though most of us see it as classic corporate damage control. Not too long ago, OpenAI was the golden child of the tech world. Now, after shifting to a for-profit model and losing ground to DeepSeek, they're desperately trying to find their mojo again. Let's dive into the new O3 models. Don't confuse them with the earlier O1 or the 40 series. O3 Mini is its own beast. It's fast, affordable, and even available on the free chat GPT plan. Over the past few days, the internet has been buzzing with debates over which AI model truly has the best vibes. I personally put them to the test over the weekend, having them build a 2D game using the GD engine, which comes with its own quirky scripting language called GD Script, and even whip up some 2D pixel art. When it came to art, Claude stole the show, followed by Deep Seek, and then the O3 model. Still, all three left me scratching my head, because until an AI can code a game rivaling GTA 7 and Fortnite, I'm not calling it true. AGI. Now, here's a bit of tech humor for you all. I once asked ChatGPT Pro for a quick tip on how to deal with the constant flood of notifications. It replied, Have you tried rebooting your routine? I mentioned it to my lawyer, who joked that if my life were a computer, I'd be stuck on an eternal loading screen. Even the AI seems to be saying that sometimes we all need to pause and refresh. Despite OpenAI's attempts at a comeback, the founder of DeepSeek has become a national hero in China, earning a cult-like status in his hometown of Guangdong. And while OpenAI's deep research is designed to fetch real-time info from the web, a clear nod to Google Gemini's earlier launch, it's the promise of revolutionizing everything from competitor analyses to legal research that has everyone talking. Sam Altman even claimed that deep research could eventually handle a modest slice of all economically viable jobs, potentially making OpenAI the ultimate powerhouse if they become the default AI provider. That's all for today's update on the wild world of AI. Thanks for tuning in to Infinite Loops, where we loop through the latest tech news with a side of humor. Until next time, keep your circuits cool and your code even cooler.